Last week, a group of Caldwell High School students protested after a student was asked to either turn her brown pride sweatshirt inside out or take it off completely. Well, now some community members are turning out, hoping to change school policy so students can wear clothing celebrating their ethnicity. Abby Davis joins us now. And Abby, these students say the phrase is part of their culture. Well, Brian, that's completely right, but it's also the point of contention because the school district says that that phrase is associated with gangs, mm. which would violate their school dress code policy. Tonight, about 30 people showed up to a meeting about this controversy, discussing next steps and how to stand up for what they believe in. I'm here today as myself, as an individual who went through uh, of the school system here in Canyon County. Uh, I myself got targeted. A group of Caldwell community members met at a local restaurant Monday night, all wanting change. All I'm asking for is equality. It's, it's not equal and it needs to be. Sunny Ligas is talking about the school district's dress code policy. That policy explains how students on campus can't wear anything that shows a symbol or an affiliation with a gang. Last week, one Caldwell High School student was told she violated this policy. That student told KTVB a teacher pulled her out of class for wearing a brown pride hoodie. She was asked to either take the sweatshirt off or turn it inside out, a demand that sparked a student-led protest. In an email, the school district claimed the term brown pride is associated with street gangs currently operating in the Northwest. So any clothing with that phrase violates district policy. Legas disagrees. We're here to find out what are the outcomes, what are our students facing in the Idaho school system. Which is why he helped organize Monday's meeting with various Treasure Valley civil rights groups like Poder of Idaho and American Civil Liberties Union. And it's part of our culture and heritage. Everybody who needs to, we want them to have a chance to speak. ACLU Community Intake Coordinator Dina Flores Brewer explained the phrase brown pride goes back farther than gangs. Brown pride dates back decades to the Chicano movement and so long before any gangs may or may not have appropriated this clothing or these these statements, these were very important cultural ideals to the Latino community and a form of political protest. She says students should absolutely stand up for what they believe in. In some instances, their clothing may also be an extension of that free speech right. It's a balancing act for the schools, but they have to take care that their policies are not disproportionately um, enforced against a certain population because of their race or color. Two days after the protest, the high school was tagged with graffiti. Caldwell Police Department Lieutenant Ben Heinrich says it was gang related with similarities to other graffiti around Caldwell. Uh, I think the white power um, that they spray painted was just something that they threw on there to kind of utilize the Brown Pride rally um, to further their agenda or throw it off. CPD initially said it was a potential hate crime, but it's still an active investigation. However, Ligas looks at it as Caldwell's Hispanic community being unfairly targeted once again. It's real easy again to point at the Chicanos and the Latinos. They're the gang problem. And um, I have, I can't think of one kid or another gang that would end up putting white power or, or anything of that. I talked to, to the student who was asked to take her brown pride hoodie off. She said a group plans on going to the next school board meeting in mid-February where they'll try to persuade the board to review the dress code policy, Brian. That just reminds me, Caldwell School District Board of Trustees postponed a meeting that was set for tonight, as a matter of fact, yes. because of safety concerns. So we'll see what happens. And maybe I haven't seen the agenda, so I don't know if they'll combine those two things, but it could be a busy night for Caldwell School District Board of Trustees. All right, thanks, Abby.